What's up? Jumping back on the bandwagon of Python programming, uh, <laughs> image module, root of the null here, and, uh, okay, cool. So we've got our image object, right? Now, the next function I want us to take a look at is getColors. And what getColors does is it just really simple returns a list of how many times it has seen one color in the image. Now, it's really interesting, though, because I'm going to run getColors. And let's just print out, or at least what it finds, so we know what it is that we see in our image. Let's run this. None. It sees no colors in our image. Well, like, what? Let's look at our image. What the? WTF? <laughs> How are there no colors in our image? Okay. So, the image module and the function getColors has this thing called maxColors. And if max colors value is exceeded when it's actually looking through the whole image looking through all the garbage that's making up this picture if it sees more than what it should or at least can handle it's gonna give up and be like dude I don't want any more I'm, I'm full and it's gonna return none and that's what's happening here the default max colors value is 256 to make sure you get all of the colors in the image, you can actually pass in a new max colors value. So, I don't know, let's say a thousand. Well, that displays our image and we still don't know all the colors. So, a thousand isn't going to work for us. How can we just, like, know what magic number, what magic max value for our max colors value is going to get it to work? Well, obviously we want to know all of the image. So all of the image is the width times the height. It's the size of the image. So now that we know how we can get the width and the height of the image, we can say width times height. And that gives us all of the image. That's our max colors value right now. The thing is, make sure you have lots of memory. Because <laughs> I mean, if, if you do that on huge images, you're going to be, dude, I don't even mind blow, you know? Let's run this. You can see it took a minute. It still hasn't finished. I don't know if it even will finish. <laughs> okay, yeah, it, it totally did finish. It's just not telling me because it's displaying the image and I haven't closed out of that. Yeah, now it's finished. But it found white with this weird alpha value like 41,545 times. No big deal. <laughs> And uh, it sees another image like four times, another color, sorry, four times, another color, another color ten times. So it's going to return the count, how many times it's seen this color, and actually the color that it found. So there it is. There's your get colors function. Really interesting, really kind of cool, and um, especially the max values really kind of throws you off if you don't specifically know about it. So there's my public service announcement to all of my viewers. <laughs> Pass in width times height if you can. If you have a small enough image and you're not working on this ginormous high-resolution camera photo, yeah, take it easy. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying the series. Um, please check out some of my other videos if you haven't. Maybe like the video, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, maybe? I don't know. Please, whatever. <laughs> and I'll see you again.